same number, 888-253-3199. And we have, uh, we have personnel that are standing over there. Some of us yeah. will be going yeah, over there as Alex is going to be talking. We're going to go over and answer some phones as and well. And also, I want to add, David, as that sale ends at 10 o'clock, the new sale that's going to begin at 10 p.m. Central Time is going to be, if you buy two bottles of knockouts, you get one bottle of knockout free. And that's going to be from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. So as that special ends that David's talking about, we have a new special that starts at 10 p.m. Also, also, head down rifles, like we said earlier, yes. head down rifles. Anytime you go to hdrifles.com right now, HD and you make firearm. a purchase, hdfirearms.com, and you make a purchase at this point in time from here to the end of the money bomb, they're going to give us 5% of that sales back to us for the money bomb so we can help further our cause to reach 400 million people. Now we have a very pressing question that they're going to go down the line and ask every single one of these men, should there be a woman on the next $10 bill. Wow, okay. Uh, we need one? to know this. This is the most this, yeah. crucial question of the night. Thank you, Jake Tapper and CNN for that insightful question. Here's their responses. My <laughs> wife, <laughs> my wife should be on there. My wife should be on there. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I think we should put Lindsey Graham on. He's close Senator enough. Rubio. I'm sorry, Senator Rubio. I'm sorry. I know we all look alike, right? <laughs> Just the senators. The uh, Rosa Parks, <laughs> an everyday American that changed the course of history. Senator Cruz. Well, I wouldn't change the $10 bill. I'd change the 20. I'd take Jackson off and I'd leave Alexander Hamilton right where he is as one of our founding fathers. Oh, he likes Hamilton. Uh, I very much agree. That's very interesting. Should be Rosa Do your Park. history. <laughs> we live in a Hamiltonian <laughs> world. Hamilton wanted a central bank. Remedy, racial injustice, and, and that would be an yeah. honor that would be entirely appropriate. I'd like Dr. to see Carson. Jefferson. That's the I antithesis of Hamilton. You know, she was uh, one of 24 children, got married at age 13, had only a third grade education, had to raise two sons by herself, refused to be a victim. Well, this is Wouldn't so important. Um, I'm going to give the number again, 888-253-3139. <laughs> As they're going down and asking these people which one of their relatives they would like to have on, I guess he's going to have Ivana on maybe as a, as a peace offering to his former wife. Um, yeah. As they're asking them this important oh, question. Oh, his daughter. His daughter, daughter okay. So. Such important questions as which woman oh, should be on the $10 bill. Uh, hey, guys, I have a little get bit of breaking news. kind of uh, media than, uh, than news by You only yeah. have uh, five minutes left to get 30% off Supermail. If anybody out there wants to call in, give, David, you can give them the call in number. Yeah. And just to let people know, at 10 o'clock, we're going to end our coverage. You guys can wrap it up uh, to about 10.05, and then we're going to play uh, David Knight's narrated video, that video you narrated about the process. Okay. There's the Supermail right there. Call in now. Or go to uh, InfoWarsStore.com and you can order that live. You get 30% off. That's about to end that 30% discount on Super Male Vitality. Exactly. That number is 888-253-3139. Uh, Super Male Vitality as they talk about which woman is going to be on the, <laughs> the dollar bill. I guess exactly. they should have made it Super Female Vitality since right. we're talking I'm about women on the $10 bill. <laughs> and then, hey, and then Alex will be up about uh, 10, 10. And then he's going to uh, interview Larry Nichols, talk for a little bit. And then we're going to premiere... Uh, the new Clinton Chronicles 2015, which we uh, worked a lot on, sent a crew up there to uh, Arkansas, just north of Little Rock, to actually visit Larry and look where and look at where all the evil of the Clinton dynasty comes from. Very so you important. guys have been doing a great yeah. job uh, in there for three hours now. Thank you very much. In fact, I want to say something oh, real you. quick. Yeah, get on right here. This just shows here how amazing independent media is, how far we've come. Looking at Joe Biggs in there, Jakari Jackson, David Knight, Leanne McAdoo, analyzing this whole big fancy set they've got set up. But we've got the people set set up. But instead of putting out establishment garbage, we're putting out the truth. And folks all over are watching this and tuning into it. And now it's on satellite and cable and TV stations are already picking this up right now and this is just the beginning more great anchors more great reporters with all of you who've already been here three years uh, this whole crop of great people helping lead them uh truly this is the true cutting edge of independent journalism teleprompter free where we know our facts i guarantee you any one of you david and jakari jackson leanne mack who could get up there <laughs> on that stage and hold your own with any of those guys because well, i tell you, you what alex the facts all they have is their establishment script so they're trying to shut down Rand paul a lot because he is making a lot of great points, I have to say tonight. But anyways, uh, go ahead in the next three minutes, and let's finish the analysis uh, of the Republican field. You guys have got five minutes for closing comments.
and what's happening. And then I'm going to uh, run a tape here for a few minutes, breaking down why we're doing this 28-hour transmission. Then I'm going to come back for about two hours with a mini documentary and more and a special guest. But I want to thank all the viewers out there, every single one of them, and the listeners who, who have made this possible. I started out 20 years ago on Access Television, and because the tyranny got so intense, I made myself... Oh try to build an organization. I found great people uh, who love freedom. You, the supporters, the crew we've got, everybody, especially the folks behind the scenes, they're just as important as the people out front. And together, we've really done amazing things. So now we have the responsibility to assault the Death Star in the Info War. And so this is it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going in. And I'm telling you, destiny is on our side, providence. So God bless you all. Go to Infowars.com forward slash moneybomb or Infowars.com. $5 donations, $100 donations. You can see what your support buying products. You can see what your support spreading the word about the broadcast is doing. What your support with the five or six money bombs we had before this, haven't had one in three years because we didn't need the money. Now we need the money. Most people that are on 150 big radio stations and have high ratings in many cities like I do would just live in a 20-room mansion and have a private jet and a house in, in Miami. I'm not saying it's bad to have a house in Miami or, you know, stuff like that, or a helicopter. I don't have any of that. I don't want that. What I have is Infowars.com, this amazing crew that's growing, reaching more people every single day exponentially. We're talking over a billion people reached on social media every month alone. They corrected me yesterday at my house, Anthony Gucciardi and Buckley Hammond, looking at the metrics, helping run that. They came and said, look, it's doubled in a year. Stop using old numbers. We keep trying to show you these. And it was from Google. It was from all the other big uh, analysis sites. We've got to admit how big InfoWars is to ourselves and how important our listeners and viewers are in helping us build this. Now, how important each and every member of our crew is from the janitor, you know, right up to somebody like David Nutter, myself. That's what this comes down to. And it's not that we're special. It's that we finally did something that let the people know they're not alone and that freedom is popular and freedom's rising. So, guys, you got about five, six minutes to wrap it up. Great job for three hours. I'm coming in, then Rob do, and a lot more. It's the 28-hour global transmission, Operation Money Bomb, building the war chest to get satellites across the globe. Thank you, Alex. I can tell you one thing that would be different if we were there asking the questions. We would not be ending the debate asking them which woman they're going to put on the $10 bill. We would not be asking them what their secret service code name would be stupid. if they got to be president. This hey. is the kind of idiotic inane questions that CNN is feeding these people. This is why nobody watches this. This is why nobody ever watches the debates until they got Donald Trump in because he would play that kind of a game. But we've had some very substantive answers tonight. We had a very good discussion about the, the, about the 10th Amendment, about drug prohibition, about marijuana, back and forth discussion between Rand Paul uh, talking about the constitutional side of this. Arguing with uh, Jeb Bush and with um, Chris Christie, Chris Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. And then we also had a very good discussion from Donald Trump about vaccines, going back and forth with uh, Ben Carson, explaining to him about how many people he's known personally that have come down with, uh, that have had children who have suffered from autism and not backing down when he was challenged by Ben Carson. None of us need to back down on this. Mm -hmm. They don't have science and the facts on their side. We have pointed this out. We have hammered this at InfoWars, Rob Dew and others. I've had uh, many guests on talking. We've all had many guests on talking about uh, vaccines. We don't need to apologize for this. We don't need to bow down to people and authority on these issues. We can investigate them. We can understand what's there. But Rand Paul got it right when he said, look, I like vaccines, but people have, and this is what he would be doing. We're electing him for president. We're not. I would not uh, take him as my doctor if he's pushing vaccines, but I would elect somebody from pre as president if they understand that it is my choice. I have informed right. consent. I have those rights as a human being. It's, I think those two things were the only thing in the debate, but those are two very good issues, I think. What do you two think? I think you hit it right on the head. Like I said, right. as much pageantry as we've seen tonight, you know, the, uh, the vaccine issue, uh, we probably pretty much got the canned answers from everybody as far as uh, situations over in Syria, with the exception of uh, a guy like Rand Paul. But um, yeah, I think you hit it right in the head, David. Yeah. You know, the, this last question here, I, I'm sorry, uh, I, want, I want to hear what you have to say, Leanne. But this last question that they're asking is, if you're elected president, how would the world look different after you leave office? 
I mean, is it Boy, going that. to be is it going to be a burnt cinder? Because that's what I'm hearing from the Republicans <laughs> yeah, for the most part. World that's what we heard all night. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lane, what do you think of this debate? Well, I, I think that you know they really went into this hoping that they could create a battle and and get infighting. And so I think at the beginning we saw they really were saying, well, Trump said this about you. Mm-hmm. Well, how do you respond to Trump's this? And they really. And I, I, I appreciate the fact that uh, they use a little bit of decorum and they didn't go into that fighting back and forth. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that it did kind of shift the mood a little bit. Um, and yeah, I think it was good that Rand Paul obviously broke down a few things there with the Constitution and why Chris Christie would be bad uh, for states' rights and things like that. And of course, very impressed with uh, Trump not backing down on the uh, autism link to vaccines and. I can't believe that that was put on the stage like this, where they were, you know, pretty much probably ex- expecting them to backtrack and give the canned answers about autism linked to vaccines, and and hopefully that'll uh, put this issue on the on the center stage for the nation and let people know that they don't have to back down if they have. They really tried to shame Trump on that issue, mm-hmm. and he yep. and he wouldn't take it, just like he won't take the uh, the political correctness line and be shamed by that. There's nothing. To be ashamed of, of, of telling the truth. And he actually came back to him and said, no, if you're president, you're going to be head of the CDC. And the CDC says, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? The CDC covered up evidence that showed that there was a correlation to autism for black boys who were getting right. vaccines. And they deliberately covered it up. And we have a, a CDC whistleblower who's pointed that out. And the people who covered it up were the people at the top of the CDC. Right. And the CDC has a conflict of interest with big pharma. They're making money off of these vaccines that flows through their organization. They got the revolving door. Exactly, exactly. We've got regulatory capture. Uh, Big pharma, big agra has captured the the federal regulatory agencies that we have set up that are supposed to be watchdog agencies for them. They actually wind up being the clients of uh, these these, uh, organizations, the big organizations that they're supposed to regulate. And that's what's going on with the CDC. Let's Yeah, let's go ahead and wrap this up because Alex Jones is going to be joining us. He's going to be talking to Larry Nichols. If you don't know who Larry Nichols is, we've had him on multiple times with InfoWars. Alex has talked to him many times. He knows a great deal about the Clintons, about Hillary Clinton. He worked with them very closely. So not only is he going to be coming up as an interview, but as Alex Jones pointed out, we sent a crew to Arkansas to do an in-depth interview with him. Uh, Josh uh, Owens has put together a a documentary film that we'll also be showing later tonight after the interview uh, that's going to break down a lot of what he knows about Bill and Hillary Clinton, the corruption that we see there. Again, this is the 28-hour live money bomb. We're live here for 28 hours. Uh, We're trying to reach 400 million people. We need your help to take the organization to the next level if you can help us. Again, that number is, and I've got it buried here, 888-253-3139. That's 888-253-3139. You can call that number. Uh, We'll be going over there. I'll be going over there to take some phone calls. If you call in, maybe you can talk to me. (laughs) And I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to talk to people who support us. I really do appreciate it. We all do appreciate it. Well, that's it. We're going to take a short break now. And then Alex Jones is going to be in studio. And as I said before, he'll be talking to Larry Nichols. We'll be right back. Alex Jones, baby. All right, we're talking about Infowars.com, which had its humble beginnings as a small website attached to Alex Jones's radio and access TV shows, has become the leader in alternative news and information. And through the years, Alex has taken the financial support provided by listeners of the radio show, readers of the website, viewers of his DVD documentaries, and freedom lovers all over the world and reinvested that support back into the Infowars news operation. With your support, we've expanded our offices, built studios, hired reporters, video editors, writers, other support staff, and created the premier alternative news network. You made this possible with your support, and we sincerely thank you. The time has come to expand once again, and this time we want to literally launch Infowars.com into space. That's right, we're launching our own satellite broadcast signal to cover all of North America, and we need your help. But first, let us show you how it works. 
Shows are created live, like The Alex Jones Show, or pre-produced, like The InfoWars Nightly News in HD. These shows are launched according to the atomic clock, and the HD signal goes through a closed-captioned data embedder, which sends a signal to a closed-captioning service.